Hello, my name is Nav Nanwa. I am a Degroot School of Business alum, both in the undergraduate commerce program as well as the MBA co-op program. And then did went on and did the co-op MBA and graduated from there in December 2013. I had a career in brand marketing for 10 years, but I re recently made the shift towards a, a passion of mine, which is media. And I'm currently an associate producer for CBC Toronto. Uh, so I literally coming out of my MBA, I ended up going into consumer packaged goods. Uh, I've worked at many different organizations like Maple Leaf Foods, Mars Wrigley, um, did a stint in sports with the CFL, which was kind of fun. And then I ended up being the brand marketing manager for No Frills at Loblaws for, uh, for two years before my current role with the CBC. I uh, was able to work on the Holler campaign I uh, did a lot of cool things like launch a comic book franchise, launch a music album, do some pretty cool activations with No Name, as well as take a gigantic shopping cart across the country uh, in a national tour where we brought excitement to Hollers from coast to coast. Uh, and then outside of my marketing career, what kind of led me to my media life here at the CBC is I've been uh, very involved in local media outside of my marketing career. So during the time that I was working in my various roles, I was actually uh, volunteering and hosting and producing for Rogers TV locally in the Peel region, which is where I'm from, so in Brampton and Mississauga. And then I eventually went and uh, started a radio show called New Theory Radio, which is an arts and pop culture show uh, for another local station called Saga 960 AM. And all of that experience came together and uh, I was able to follow my passion and uh, land a role with CBC Toronto as an associate producer for their afternoon show called Here and Now. I would say the new fresh experience perspective that I'm able to bring to my current role is uh, my being that I've worked in brand marketing and advertising for 10 years, my background already is quite different than my peers who uh, have gone the traditional journalism route and uh, literally went through the system when it came to uh, landing roles at networks like the CBC and, and doing internships and, and working behind the scenes and then eventually uh, producing for shows that are on the air. Um, I think the perspective I bring is, is, is many different perspectives. I can bring the business sort of analysis perspective when it comes to different stories that are, that are coming out. I, I also have really close ties to the local community, so I can always put a community lens to a lot of different types of stories that take place. Um, I'm also able to uh, take what I've learned from the corporate world and, and instantly apply it to my day-to-day -day job, which is uh, being able to pitch ideas, being able to turn around uh, segments and scripts uh, on, under tight deadlines, being able to, uh, to think strategically regarding some of the content that we put on the show and, and how we can make it more engaging. So uh, very much, I, I tap into my, my previous life a lot in, in, in ensuring that I'm bringing something different to the table in my current position. I think what really prepared me for my current job uh, was really just my curiosity to try new things while I was working my, my nine to five or, or my corporate job. The one thing that Degroot really taught me was that if you have a passion, you should always pursue it despite what, what else you have going on. And, um, again, obviously school is important, so make sure you get good grades and you uh, do what you need to do to, to get that GPA up. But there's also a lot of opportunity outside of school, like extracurricular activities, uh, like being involved in cultural groups, big case competitions like Mars Apprentice or Canada's Next Top Ad Exec, which is two programs that I was able to participate in. And I think just the innate skills and curiosity that I was able to gain through those experiences allowed me to take that with me as I, as I grew older. And I never wanted to feel bounded by a nine to five. I always felt that you should, you should have things going on that tie back to your passions to stay grounded. Uh, local media was that uh, grounding for me because I just really cared about the community that I grew up in. And, and, and I was also able to, to mash my lives together in, in numerous different aspects because I did get the opportunity to produce and host the business show for Rogers TV. So I was able to bring a little bit of my corporate experience into my media world. So 
ultimately from a preparation standpoint, I think it was really just the curiosity that I had as I was continuing my corporate career and, and making sure that I was finding things that tap into my passion. But then I also, within my corporate career, found ways to tap into my passions as well. I have a, a big music fan. Like I mentioned, I, I love pop, arts and pop culture, and I'm also a big sports fan. And within those three interests of mine, I was able to find uh, passion projects in my roles that allowed me to exercise that to my full abilities. So the one thing I just recommend is just being be curious. Don't Don't feel that because you're getting into the workplace that you need to be bounded by your job. I think if you have a passion, find find your way to pursue it and, and find that balance that allows you to stay happy. From, from the perspective that I bring in to my current job, being someone who comes from corporate, who's dabbled in marketing communications, not dabbled, who's helped strategize for marketing communications, various brands and products, um, and now making a shift into media full-time, uh, the challenges are, are really around uh, information accuracy. Um, we live in this era of fake news where people are constantly questioning whether the headlines or whether the information that they're getting is accurate. And I think a lot of that has to do with people or, or institutions or um, this whole idea around clickbait really taking over people's thought processes when it comes to just the information that's being put in front of them. So the biggest challenge for us on a daily basis, especially in our role, is to ensure that we're properly informing our audience when it comes to the facts, when it comes to things that are actually going on in the area, which in our in our case is the greater Toronto area, and just making sure that we're getting the right people involved to speak on these things. And um, I, I do think those things also apply for when you're in the corporate world, when you're putting together, in my case, marketing plans or advertising and communication strategies, because the audiences are getting very sophisticated. Audiences are able to cut through the crap and, and do question everything. And I think this ability has allowed a lot of people to really think strategically in ways that we haven't thought before when it comes to presenting information that's going to elicit a reaction, but hopefully a positive reaction, because we want audiences to, to feel like they're not being uh, told things that aren't accurate. I, I love being at DeGroote. I do credit DeGroote for allowing me to find myself when it comes to who I was as a person. And, and, and I do think a lot about my time at DeGroote when it comes to different experiences or, or different things that I, that I go through within my life. Uh, but my fondest memory, being able to cap off my MBA, uh, winning MBA games amongst my peers was a, a really good way to check mark the MBA program for us. Because again, with the way that the co-op MBA works, you're in 28 months of uh, of a rotation of academic and, and co-op placements. And it just so happens that our last semester was September to December and NBA games was in January. And it was a, a last hurrah for a lot of us because a lot of us were heading into work full time in January. Some of us weren't like me. I still didn't know what I wanted to do and, and I was still trying to figure it out. But being able to be amongst a lot of my peers that I started the program with and, and, and to cap off our NBA experience by winning NBA games that year in 2014 uh, was a big highlight. It, it, it was, uh, it was a, the, the season finale ending of a show <laughs> that, you, that you couldn't write any better, uh, to be honest. It was, it was that moment where, hey, we were on stage, we get the award and then the credits roll and then you get ready for the new class. So it, it was, uh, it, that was a nice moment. And then other moments, making top 10 in Canada's like top ad exec was a big moment for me. Being in part of Mars Apprentice was a big moment for me. Being the first president of the Degree MBA Marketing Association was a big moment because we were able to do some very thought provoking program. Plus there was a gap when it came to marketing representation within the MBA program. And, and I say that in regards to there wasn't a, a body, a student body of, of marketing uh, students that were that wanted to engage employers or or industry uh, professionals with our students. So being able to create that and, and even seeing that continue has been great. So 
a lot of moments, but I would probably hang my hat on the NBA games win because it was the perfect season finale or series finale ending to an NBA 